So how do we manage the action plans? To manage the action plans, you'll have to log into the analytics dashboards, go to analytics.gordit.com, then go to action plan tab by pressing on action plan. And then in here, you'll have the ability to manage the action plans. There are three parts of the action plan dashboards. One is the filtering, which is on the left hand side. This gives you the opportunity to choose the dates on when you want to see the action plans, then select the company in case you have more than one company available, the audit names, the location, and the even assignee or priority, and then tap apply once you have the right filters so you can see the right information. The second part is viewing the action plans. So once you've selected the right filters, you'll be able to see the action plans and you'll be able to see on the top how many of the action plans are open for the filters we've selected, how many have been submitted, how many are overdue and how many have been closed. If you want to see only the open ones, you have to tap on the number and you'll get only the open ones and the same appliance for the other statuses. So if I want to see the overdue, action plans I'm just going to tap on that and I'm going to be able to see only the overdue action plans. So if I want to go back a year in time and see all the action plans that we have done um, in the last year I'm just going to select all the companies and all the audits make sure that all it's tapped it's ticked on the top all the locations and all the assignees and priorities and tap apply. As we can see, we have 15 open action plans, uh, 11 have been uh, overdue and 5 have been closed. Here comes the third part, which is the action uh, we can take from this uh, portal. So if we want to review the closed action plans, we can just tap on the closed action plans and then we can, we can take an action on each of these action plans that have been closed. So we can review them. So tapping on action and scrolling down, we can see the images that have been submitted by the action plan assignee. Uh, so we can review them and we can see the notes as well that the action plan assignees has entered um, when closing this action plan. So we can review them. So if we're not happy, we can change the status, we can reject it, um, or we can leave it closed. Um, and then we can, in case we have rejected it, we can choose another deadline. And we can even assign it to someone else uh, to, to be reviewed. In case we don't want to make any changes and we're happy with what we, the technician or the action plan assignee has submitted, we can just tap on cancel. The same we can do with each one of these action plans. We can review them and we can uh, reject them or we can leave them as they are. And also we can see on the PDFs, the statuses of the action plans will change as well uh, and they will show on the PDF as well. So we can see that the action plan has been closed on this date and by this assignee. And we can also see the pictures and the uh, notes taken by the uh, action plan assignee. In case we want to review the overdue action plans, we can just tap on the uh, overdue um, and then we can see all the action plans here and we can reassign them to someone else. Let's say for example, Tim Blake is no longer with the company. We can add another assignee and we can reassign them from this screen and we can even extend the due date uh, from this screen as well. So they can have enough time to review um, the action plan. In case the action plan is no longer needed to be reviewed, we can change the status from here to closed and then we can save it by pressing the save button. So this is how you uh, manage all the action plans from the action plan uh, tab on the dashboards. You can be in full control of the action plans. You can see what has been closed or what is overdue. You can export the data into uh, two formats, into PDF or XLS. Uh, so you can review it into Excel spreadsheet. So give your team the ability to identify the things that are not right in your company, turn them into actions, assign them to the right people and have them immediately fixed.
and be in total control by being able to manage and review all the action plans from the action plan dashboards.